Bootstrap. Interview 50 questions. With answers. 1. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is a sleek, intuitive, and powerful mobile-first front-end framework for faster and easier web development. It uses HTML, CSS and JavaScript. 2. What is Bootstrap Grid System? Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile-first fluid grid system that appropriately scales up to 12 columns as the device or viewport. Size increases. It includes predefined classes for easy layout options, as well as powerful mixins for generating more semantic layouts. It has four tiers of classes, XS, SM, MD, and LG. .colxs star .colsm star .colmd star .colg asterisk. Structure of Bootstrap Grid Layout 3. Why use Bootstrap? Bootstrap can be used because Mobile-first approach Since Bootstrap 3, the framework consists of mobile-first styles throughout the entire library instead of in separate files. Browser support It is supported by all popular browsers. Easy to get started with just the knowledge of HTML and CSS Anyone can get started with Bootstrap. Responsive Design Bootstrap's responsive CSS adjusts to desktops, tablets, and mobiles. Provides a clean and uniform solution for building an interface for developers. It contains beautiful and functional built-in components which are easy to customize. It also provides web-based customization. And best of all it is an open source. 4. What does Bootstrap Package Includes? Bootstrap package includes Scaffolding Bootstrap provides a basic structure with grid system, link styles, background. CSS Bootstrap comes with feature of global CSS settings, fundamental HTML elements styled and enhanced with extensible classes, and an advanced grid system. Components Bootstrap contains over a dozen reusable components built to provide iconography, dropdowns, navigation alerts, popovers, and much more. JavaScript plugins Bootstrap contains over a dozen custom jQuery plugins. You can easily include them all, or one by one. Customize You can customize Bootstrap's components, less variables, and jQuery plugins to get your very own version. 5. What is contextual classes of table in Bootstrap? The contextual classes allow you to change the background color of your table rows or individual cells. Six. What are Bootstrap media queries? Media queries in Bootstrap allow you to move, show and hide content based on viewport size. Seven. Show a basic grid structure in Bootstrap. Following is basic structure of Bootstrap grid. Screen clipping. Eight. What are offset columns? Offsets are a useful feature for more specialized layouts. They can be used to push columns over for more spacing. For example, the .colxs equals asterisk classes don't support offsets, but they are easily replicated by using an empty cell. 9. How can you order columns in Bootstrap? You can easily change the order of built-in grid columns with .colmd push asterisk and .colmd pull asterisk modifier classes where asterisk range from 1 to 11. 10. Explain the typography and links in Bootstrap. Bootstrap sets a basic global display, background, typography, and link styles. Basic global display sets background color, number FFF, on the body element. Typography uses the at font family base, at font size base, and at line height base attributes as the typographic base. Link style sets the global link color via attribute at link color and apply link underlines only on hover. 11. How do you make images responsive? 
Bootstrap 3 allows to make the images responsive by adding a class.img responsive to the img tag. This class applies max, width, 100%, and height, auto, to the image so that it scales nicely to the parent element. 12. What is normalize in Bootstrap? Bootstrap uses normalize to establish cross-browser consistency. Normalize.css is a modern, HTML5-ready alternative to CSS. Resets. It is a small CSS file that provides better cross-browser consistency in the default styling of HTML elements. 13. What is lead body copy? To add some emphasis to a paragraph, add class equals lead. This will give you larger font size, lighter weight, and a taller line height. 14. What are glyph icons? Glyph icons are icon fonts which you can use in your web projects. Glyph icons halflings are not free and require licensing, however. Their creator has made them available for bootstrap projects free of cost. Glyph icons. Glyph icons. Subscribe. By clicking subscribe button. 15. Explain types of lists supported by Bootstrap. Bootstrap supports Ordered lists Unordered lists Definition lists 16. What is a transition plugin? The transition plugin provides simple transition effects such as sliding or fading in modals. 17. What is a modal plugin? A modal is a child window that is layered over its parent window. Typically, the purpose is to display content from a separate source. That can have some interaction without leaving the parent window. Child windows can provide information, interaction, or more. 18. How do you use the drop-down plugin? Add data toggle equals drop-down to a link or button to toggle a drop-down. 19. What is Bootstrap Carousel? The Bootstrap Carousel is a flexible, responsive way to add a slider to your site. In addition to being responsive, the content is flexible enough to allow images, iframes, videos, or just about any type of content that you might want. 20. What is Button Group? Button groups allow multiple buttons to be stacked together on a single line. This is useful when you want to place items like Alignment buttons together 21. Which class is used for basic button group? .btn group class is used for a basic button group. Wrap a series of buttons with class .btn in .btn group. 22. Which class is used to draw a toolbar of buttons? .btn toolbar helps to combine sets of div class equals btn group into a div class equals btn toolbar for more complex components. Twenty-three, which classes can be applied to button group instead of resizing each button? .btn group lg, .btn group sm, .btn group xs classes can be applied to button group instead of resizing each button. 24. Which class make a set of buttons appear vertically stacked rather than horizontally? .btn group vertical class make a set of buttons appear vertically stacked rather than horizontally. 25. What are input groups? Input groups are extended form controls. Using input groups you can easily prepend and append text or buttons to the text-based inputs. By adding prepended and appended content to an input field, you can add common elements to the user's input. 26. How will you create a tab navigation menu? To create a tab navigation menu, start with a basic unordered list with the base class of .nav. Add class .nav tabs. 27. How will you create a pills navigation menu? To create a pills navigation menu, start with a basic unordered list with the base class of .nav. 
add class.nav pills. 28. How will you create a vertical pills navigation menu? You can stack the pills vertically using the class.nav stacked along with the classes, .nav, .nav pills. 29. What is Bootstrap Navbar? The navbar is one of the prominent features of Bootstrap sites. Navbars are responsive meta components that serve as navigation headers for your application or site. Navbars collapse in mobile views and become horizontal as the available viewport width increases. At its core, the navbar includes styling for site names and basic navigation. 30. What is Bootstrap Breadcrumb? Breadcrumbs are a great way to show hierarchy-based information for a site. In the case of blogs, breadcrumbs can show the dates of publishing, categories, or tags. They indicate the current pages. Location within a navigational hierarchy. A breadcrumb in Bootstrap is simply an unordered list with a class of dot breadcrumb. The separator is automatically added by CSS, bootstrap.mincss. 31. Which class is used for basic pagination? Dot pagination class is used to add the pagination on a page. 32. How will you customize links of pagination? You can customize links by using dot disabled for unclickable links and dot active to indicate the current page. 33. Which class is used for basic pagination? Dot pagination class is used to add the pagination on a page. 34. What are bootstrap labels? Bootstrap labels are great for offering counts, tips, or other markup for pages. Use class.label to display labels. Share in your social networks and messengers. 35. What are bootstrap badges? Badges are similar to labels, the primary difference is that the corners are more rounded. Badges are mainly used to highlight new or unread items. To use badges just add span class equals badge to links, bootstrap navs, and more. 36. What is bootstrap jumbotron? As the name suggests this component can optionally increase the size of headings and add a lot of margin for landing page content. To use the jumbotron, create a container div with the class of dot jumbotron. In addition to a larger h1, the font weight is reduced to 200px. Thirty-seven. How to create thumbnails using Bootstrap? To create thumbnails using Bootstrap, add an a tag with the class of dot thumbnail around an image. This adds four pixels of padding and a gray border. On hover, an animated glow outlines the image. Thirty-eight. What are Bootstrap alerts? Bootstrap alerts provide a way to style messages to the user. They provide contextual feedback. Messages for typical user actions. You can add an optional close icon to alert. 39. How will you create a stacked progress bar using Bootstrap? You can even stack multiple progress bars. Place the multiple progress bars into the same dot progress to Stack them. 40. What is the purpose of dot media class in Bootstrap? This class allows to float a media object, images, video, and audio, to the left or right of a content block. 41. What is the purpose of dot media list class in Bootstrap? If you are preparing a list where the items will be part of an unordered list, use a class. Useful for comment threads or articles lists. 42. What are bootstrap panels? Panel components are used when you want to put your DOM component in a box. To get a basic panel, just add class.panel to the div element. Also add class.panel default to this element. 43. What contextual classes are available to style the panels? Use contextual state classes such as 
Panel Primary, Panel Success, Panel Info, Panel Warning, Panel Danger, to make a panel more meaningful to a particular context. 44. Can you put a table within Bootstrap Panel? Yes. You can include list groups within any panel. Create a panel by adding class.panel to the div. Element. 45. What is Bootstrap Well? A well is a container in div that causes the content to appear sunken or an inset effect on the page. 46. What is Scroll Spy Plugin? The Scroll Spy, auto-updating NAV, plugin allows you to target sections of the page based on the scroll. Position. In its basic implementation, as you scroll, you can add dot active classes to the navbar based on the scroll position. 47. What is Affix Plugin? The Affix Plugin allows a div to become affixed to a location on the page. You can also toggle its pinning on and off using this plugin. A common example of this are social icons. They will start in a location, but as the page hits a certain mark, the div will be locked in place and will stop scrolling with the rest of the page. 48. What is Bootstrap Snippet Pack? Bootstrap Snippet Pack has a collection of Bootstrap snippets for Visual Studio. Very often, web developers need to minimize their development environment then go to the Bootstrap website to find a piece of HTML for a specific component. 49. Explain validation states with Twitter Bootstrap. Bootstrap provides an easy to use and powerful mechanism for styling input controls to present various validation states. Bootstrap includes validation styles for error, warning, and success messages. To use, just add the appropriate class to the surrounding dot form group. 50. Explain file structure of Bootstrap. Here is Bootstrap structure. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share through social networks messengers.